5, Lucens, Vaud, Switzerland 1969, Level 5. The construction of the Lucens reactor began in 1962. It was a small, Swiss-designed carbon dioxide gas-cooled pilot reactor, built in an underground cavern. Moderated with heavy water and fueled by enriched uranium, it had an output of 30 megawatts of heat, used to generate over 8 megawatts of electricity. In comparison, the Kashiwazaki Kariwa nuclear power station in Japan houses seven nuclear reactors five of them with an output of 1,067 megawatts of electricity each, and two generating 1,315 megawatts each. It goes to show that even such a small reactor as the one in Lucent certainly has the capability to cause serious damage. On January 21, 1969, the reactor suffered a loss of coolant accident during a startup. This led to a partial core meltdown and a massive contamination of the cavern. None of the people working on the reactor were irradiated and the contamination was contained inside the cavern, which was then sealed encasing the nuclear contaminants in an underground cave, or simply in concrete, is called nuclear entombment. The cavern was later decontaminated and the reactor dismantled. The accident was caused by corrosion. The accumulated corrosion products impeded the flow of gas coolant. 4. Three Mile Island, United States 1979, Level 5 This is considered to be the most serious civilian nuclear accident in the United States. On March 28, 1979, one of the elements of the power plant's system malfunctioned, initiating the chain of events that could lead to much more serious consequences. The element was a relief valve. The valve was opened following the increase in the primary loop pressure this increase being caused by some other valves being closed for routine maintenance, Closing them in such a manner was a violation of the key NRC Nuclear Regulatory Commission rule. The relief valve was supposed to close automatically after excess pressure had been released, but it didn't. As a result, large amounts of the reactor coolant escaped. Even though it sounds serious, in normal conditions the loss of coolant does not necessarily have to lead to a rapid deterioration of situation. When managed properly, and if both the emergency systems and personnel operate as they are supposed to, it's not going to unavoidably result in a meltdown. During a Three Mile Island incident, some serious errors were made. The personnel operating the reactor were not trained properly and some control indicators were showing ambiguous information. There was much confusion as to what was actually going on. The crisis was eventually contained, but not before 2.5 million curies of radioactive gases, mostly xenon and krypton, and about 15 curies of iodine-131 had been released into the environment. The accident significantly raised the resistance to the nuclear energy among general populace and strengthened the anti-nuclear movement in the United States. The cleanup effort was officially completed in 1993, at a cost of $1 billion. 3. Kishtim, Russia, former Soviet Union, 1957, Level 6. The Kishtim nuclear disaster was a radiation contamination incident that occurred on September 29, 1957 at Mayak. Ozirsk is a home to Mayak plant a large facility housing plutonium production plant and reprocessing facility. The plant was built in 1945-48 to make plutonium for nuclear weapons. At that time Soviets lagged behind the United States in the field of nuclear weapons and they were desperately trying to close the gap. Since the Soviet authorities did not care about the environment and about the people living around the facility, or working in it, for that matter, the health concerns were irrelevant. The facility kept dumping irradiated water and radioactive waste into nearby lakes and streams. That waste was eventually reaching Arctic Ocean, in the waters of the River Obi, the world's fourth longest river. Some years after the original construction of the Mayak plant was completed, the storage tanks for dissolved radioactive waste were built. Since the waste was heating itself through decay heat, the cooling system had to be installed. On September 29, 1957, the cooling system for one of the tanks, storing many tons of liquid nuclear waste, malfunctioned, leading to the evaporation, and eventual explosion of the dried waste mostly ammonium nitrate and acetates. The explosion had a force of 70 to 100 tons of TNT. Although no one was killed directly by the explosion, it released a massive radioactive cloud. The cloud contaminated an area of over 7,000 square miles. At least 200 people died due to direct exposure to radiation and 10,000 were evacuated although no one told them why they have to leave. In total 470,000 people were exposed to radiation and the Soviet Health Ministry found that over 8,000 people had died within the preceding 32 years as a result of the disaster. 2. Fukushima, Japan 2011 Level 7 On March 11, 2011, 
9.0 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of Japan. The resulting tsunami, 49 feet tall, hit the Fukushima I nuclear power plant 51 later, flooding the entire area and destroying or damaging electrical lines, generators, and pumps. As a result of this damage, reactors 1, 2 and 3 experienced full meltdown. The full extent of the damage is not known even today. It's certainly too soon to even estimate the total impact on people and environment. Even though this is number two of the most serious nuclear disasters, it may well become number one in the future. 1. Chernobyl, Ukraine, former Soviet Union, 1986, Level 7. On April 26, 1983, a series of events led to the explosion of the reactor number 4 at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The resulting fire of the graphite moderator sent huge plumes of heavily radioactive smoke in the air, and it eventually contaminated about 100,000 sq kilometers, over 38,000 sq miles, of what is now Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. The accident was caused by the faulty design of the reactor and a series of errors by the reactor's operators. There is no agreement as to how many people have died as a result of this disaster, but most estimates place the number of casualties at 5,000 to 6,000. About 100 people were killed in the immediate aftermath of the accident. 600,000 workers took part in the decontamination they were called liquidators.